So I went, <clears throat> I got my husband some little bib overalls and I've got to hem them up. I got a, I, well, I had to cut some length off of them. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I do it. <clears throat> this is the only way I know how to do it. I have some pins in the hand. <clears throat> Look how I cut. I measured the length how, how it needs to be. And I had to cut these things off because they're just too thick to sew through. So we've got these little gaps here. That ain't going to hurt nothing. Now, in order to now just do it like this, can y'all see what I'm doing? I don't know if you can or not. I hope you can. Now, <clears throat> there's the gaps. Now, this is where I'm going to hem them up to. Right straight along that with the edge of that right there. Let me pull this down and maybe that'll help with the, the light and where it won't glare. Oh, okay. I need to plug that other thing in. Let me try to get it plugged in here. Hold on. more light on the subject here. Now maybe y'all see better. Okay. <clears throat> now this is where I cut it off. This is where the hem's going to be right there. So I'm going to fold this up right there alongside that. And that's where it's going to be. I need to use a pen right there. Straight from these pins. Get this one. Pin that right there. Now, then we're going to go over here to the other side of it here. Where this other gap is right here. I mean, do that and uh, we're going to fold that over too yeah even for that I don't have any more big pins well that's a tiny one and put a pin in that to hold it and now, <clears throat> let's flatten that out. Across there. From this side to that side where I pinned it. <clears throat> Just hold it up and flatten it out like that. And you can tell where it's, where it's gonna be and just mash that, press it with your fingers. Because this heavy denim, this new denim, you, it'll press easy with the fingers. And that way you've got it pressed over where it needs to be. <clears throat> and then put your safety pins in to hold that in place. And put them kind of towards the bottom here. And I'll show you why here in a minute. We'll get in there. Come on, get in there. See if that, let me see if that went all the way through. Yeah. Okay. It pinned it there in the middle. Now I go over here to the side of it over here and pin it here, pinning it towards the bottom there. Get another pin. Maybe I'll 
I can't stretch that very far. The wire ain't very long on it. <laughs> well, I was wanting to make sure y'all got plenty of light. Let me move this thing here. There. See if that helps. <clears throat> now, go over here to this other edge here. You can see where the edge is right there. Now we're going to put this pin in over here. I need to get some more pins. Let me grab the little, well here's one right here. <clears throat> She there? She there? I've got it pinned down right along with this thing here. And I'm going to turn this over and do... Well, <clears throat> I'd have to get some more pins. Uh, I'm going to pause this and get some more pins and then I'll show you. Okay. See, there's this side that we pinned. Now they're going to do this other side the same way. She's emboldening it right even with that. Then go to the other side there. Fold it even with that one. Press it with your fingers. Stretch it across there. Stretch it on across there and press it down with your fingers. Saves you a lot of time. Just finger pressing that saves you a lot of time. I'm all for saving time if I can. Now we're going to pin this the same way. It's lined up there at the edge, and it is. Put this pin this way. Come on, get in there. Boy, howdy. Get on in there. Okay, now we're ready to sew it. And I'll show you how I sew around this stuff here. I have to sew across that. You know, I'll sew this and I'll show you how I do it. Get that out. This thing right here, pull, be sure and pull this out. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put a pin in that to hold that straight. Cause it's trying to mess up on me. Let's put that pin in there. Now see, now what I'm gonna do, is fold that under a little bit. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm folding that under a little bit right there. Now fold it. A little from there to there. Well, 
just a little. Well, you don't have to fold it. It's actually easier if you don't. I'll show you. <coughs> Come on, get over there. Now, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing very well. Um, well, I'll show it and I'll show you, but I'd like for you to be able to see it. lamp thing out of the way. <coughs> now, can you see what I'm doing? Maybe that'll work, I hope. Now, Okay, I'm going to start on just on the other side of this here. See, here's this. See? Now I'm going to. Here's what, what we're doing. Move that pin a little bit. You snip the corners off of that. See, I snip the corner off of that. Snip it off of here. It helps when turning this edge under. I'm going to turn it under. Oh. Oh. A little, this should have had a little more than a quarter inch. See? Y'all see that? This is where I'm going to start. Turn it under a little more back here. Makes it easier to start that way. Okay. Now bring it on over here. I gotta pull this pin out. Bring it on over there. Now lift that up. Turn this. Do you see where that it's your raw edge right over here. See that? We're going to zigzag over that. So I adjust this thing here to a zigzag. Let's see. Oh gosh, I better raise my needle up first. Oh, I can't ch change it till I raise that needle up. Four is too big. Three. We'll try three. Back stitch at the beginnings and ends of things. I can go ahead and take this pin out and get it out of the way. Zigzag, zigzag. Now, turn it like this. We're going to zigzag across that. in right there turn this under right here turn it under about about like that I guess Now take, put it back on a straight stitch. Oh, I forgot again. I gotta raise that needle up. Woo wee! 
good way to break a needle is you forget to raise it up when you're going to change your stitching. Straight on. I'm gonna pull that out straight and turn this under. Go back to stitch here. Snip this, see, I snip this other little corner pieces off here. Well, come on now. Now, turn that under. Nice, Virginia. Sticking off of it, cut it. Now, now I gotta raise that needle up and then put it back on number three. I got this sewing machine. My Aunt Martha bought this sewing machine for me from Walmart about, oh gosh, about 12 years ago, I guess. And I've used it and used it and used it. And you know, uh, a sewing machine will last you a long time to take care of it. You, you got to clean it fairly often and oil it fairly often. That's the key to taking care of your your sewing machine. And change your needle out now and then because they get dull. Oh, I better stop right there because I've got to turn this under right here. Turn that under for the hem. Go down and stand that needle up for a second now. You can leave your needle in there to turn. But when you're getting ready to uh, change your stitch, you better raise it up. And okay, put it back on a straight stitch. And cut this thread off here. Now, now pinch under your, your little hem line there. Huh? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, we're almost done with this round here. Anything I show is about every, about every seven to eight inches. That way, if the thread breaks in one place, it won't come undone all the way around. It'll stop when you back stitch. Huh? Okay. Where are you going? Cut the fridge. Now, as you see,
it's, it looks very neat, very nice and neat. Well, I used black thread because I didn't have any dark, dark blue. That's all right. They should use some to work in anyway. And you might have some little threads that'll fudge up there. Just trim them off. They're not going to fudge too much because you uh, zigzagged right there. Zigzag stitched. But that's the only way I found that I can hem my husband's pants without too much trouble because of the thickness of the denim. See there? You can see what I did. Okay, that's it, y'all. See you later.